Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about database management systems and the today's topic is types of keys. So we will be going through all the types of keys in DBMS and we will be differentiating the keys, how the one key is different from other and when the particular key is used. So uh, there are more videos on database management systems, computer networks and cloud computing which would be very helpful for our IT officer mains exam. So there is a, a different playlist also, you can go through the uh, that playlist it would surely help you so before moving on if you are new to my channel please subscribe to it let's move on to the video without wasting any time so the first type of key is a primary key we all know it actually we all have heard about it we all have studied about it so just a revision of all the keys so the primary key is set of one or more attributes so it can be a single attribute or it can be a set of attributes of a relation that uniquely identify a record in a database for example suppose we have a student database so which attribute uh, the database is student so which attribute of the student would uniquely identify the student it would be either the role number or the registration number so the role number would be the primary key or the registration number would be the primary key a single student can uh, have uh, two different students can have single name suppose there can be a student called Rekha and there are uh, Rekha V or uh, there can be another students having Rekha V but the role numbers would be always be different so it would be the primary key so what what is it the duplicate values could not be there and it should not accept null value that is for role number there should be some value the blank value should not be there so the for primary key the first thing is it should uniquely identify the attribute okay it would be uniquely identifying the attribute this is the first thing the second thing is it should not accept null values and the third thing is it should not accept duplicate values so you can remember these things about the primary key now the line is there only one candidate key can be a primary key so now what is a candidate key we will see in the video so let's see so second is the unique key so there is a similarity between the primary key and the unique key see the for, for the primary key we uh, learned three things that it is uni uh, uniquely identify record so for the unique key also it is the same it must uniquely identify the record okay the next thing is for example take the address okay so address for each student would be different so it would uniquely identify the student in a single classroom okay but it is like a primary key in this case that is it uniquely identifies a record but it can accept null values and it cannot have duplicate values so the thing is it should uniquely identify a record so it cannot have duplicate values it is similar to the primary key only but it can accept null values so this is the main point the unique key the primary key and unique key there is only one difference primary key it cannot accept null value and the unique key it can accept null value so these are almost similar but they are not same because unique key it cannot uh, have duplicate values it is similar to the primary key only but it can accept null values whereas the primary key it cannot accept null values let's move to the next key that is an alternate key alternate key is a key that can work as a primary key so alternate key means it is alternate to the primary key basically it is a candidate key that is not a primary key so here also we have the term candidate key we'll go through it what is a candidate key so it is everything alternate key it can work as a primary key that means the property of the alternate key is it should uniquely identify okay um, it should be unique the second should be it cannot have null values not null the values cannot be null and it cannot have duplicate values okay so it is the all the properties of the alternate key would be equal to that of the primary key the next one is the candidate key so the candidate key is what it is also a set of one or more attributes so it can be single attributed or it can be multi attributed the first thing it it is unique it uniquely identifies a uh, table and it can be there can be multiple candidate key in one table and each candidate key can work as a primary key so every candidate can key can be a primary key and every candidate key can be an alternate key so from the candidate key we will get alternate keys and from the alternate keys we will get the primary keys so the properties of candidate key would be the same that is it should be unique 
it should be not null and it should be not duplicate it should not have duplicate values okay so it is similar to primary key we can say every candidate key can be a primary key for example uh, in our previous example we said roll number and registration number are both they ha uh, both have unique values and both cannot have null values and both cannot have duplicates so but one only one can be the primary key either we can take roll number as a primary key or registration number as a primary key when these both keys are there these both are the candidate keys so out of these candidate key one key would be chosen as a primary key okay next super key okay super key is set of one or more keys one or more than one keys that can be used to identify a record so you can say that the super key is a super set it is a super set of what it is a super set of primary key it is a super set of candidate keys and it is the super set of unique key and alternate key so till now whatever keys we have read the super key is the super set of all keys okay the next is the composite key so, so see a key with one attribute is a single key okay composite key is a key which contains more than one attributes more than one field or columns or more than one attribute it is a composite key it can be a candidate key or primary key suppose only not a roll a roll number alone suppose it cannot express roll number alone is sufficient to be a primary key but what about uh, if we combine name with date of birth name alone is not a primary key date of birth alone is not a primary key but we combine name and date of birth it can become a primary key so this is actually what it is called it is a composite key that it contains of two attributes name and date of birth so any key which has more than one attribute it called a component composite key or it, it can also be called as the compound key okay the next is the foreign key a foreign key is a field in the database that is primary key to the another table suppose we have two tables table 1 and table 2 so the primary key of primary key of table 1 it will act as a foreign key of table 2 for example table 1 is a uh, student database and stable 2 is of teacher database okay so th there would be some serial number for teachers or there would be some uh, employee number for teachers okay so in this table suppose for student the this student is taught by the particular teacher x1 so the employment number in this table it would be the primary key, be, uh, um, key of the teacher table it would be used as a foreign key in the student table or the enrollment number of the student can be used as a uh, foreign key in teacher table so this is the foreign key so till now we had read how many keys you can go through all of them first is the primary key second is the unique key third one was the alternate key then it, uh, we had the candidate key then we had super keys then we had composite keys and then at last we had the foreign key so this was all about the keys in database management system hope you like the video if you like the video please click the like button do share and subscribe thank you